but one of the homes that was severely damaged during the storm Saturday morning. This was a, a workshop and garage until about Saturday morning at 3.30. Now you see but one remnant of the wall and some hooks that was holding tools. Now there's very little left on it. This is a home that was splintered in two by a major oak tree. Homes in this area look much the same. Hundreds of homes in this area of Petal has been absolutely obliterated or severely damaged. Volunteers are moving into the area trying to help where they can. Sanderson Farm setting up bags of ice at a nearby church just to give residents something that can help them get through this very difficult time. Anybody who comes through and needs it for freezers or, you know, cooler full or whatever, we'll give it out. You're expecting a big demand, aren't you? Uh, they hit it pretty good yesterday. It's not slowed down some this morning, and uh, we'll just wait to see how the rest of the day goes. Even though it's devastation everywhere, we still are blessed because my mom didn't get a scratch on her. I didn't get a scratch on me. I heard stuff going by my ears as I was kneeling. Glass was breaking. Those two doors opened and closed, and not a glass broke out of them. Debris crews moving in and out of this area here in Petal, just trying to help residents get some of the debris out of their yards. As you look down that road there, that's a residential subdivision. Doesn't look like it from where we're standing because there are nothing but fallen trees and branches that are snapped into on either side of the road. One of the things that you're trying to do right now is get a centralized hub where volunteers can come in and then go from that location to help residents like this that need so much help. They set up a church there, East Jerusalem on Tipton Street in Hattiesburg, if residents or volunteers want to come in and help. In Petal, Mississippi, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.